Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Canva to create a fade to color. I've seen some other tutorials and they were a little bit more complicated and I'll show you why and what I've come up with um, to kind of simplify the procedure. So as you can see here, we have a photo and it's going to this um, faded color here or fading to a color and that's a lot easier for you to put some text, okay? So let's go ahead and start with our photo. So you can use any photo. In this particular photo, I'm going to use the purple that's from this photo. So normally <clears throat> when you see the tutorials, they add this, uh, they go to elements and they go to uh, gradients and they'll find this gradient here and then they'll put it for 90 degrees and then they'll put it in the corner. But here's our first issue. The first issue is that it doesn't quite reach this. So I could uh, make this a purple, right? And then I could, you know, copy and paste several times over in order for the fade to reach the photo. But I've got a much easier uh, and better way that works here. And so uh, instead of using the gradient filter here, we're gonna just use a regular rectangle, okay? And what's great about using the regular rectangle is that we can choose how much, uh, how what the size is, <coughs> excuse me, vertically and uh, horizontally, which is a really great uh, addition. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butt it right up against the photo and I'm gonna take this color and we're gonna do it like we did before, just find the color that we wanna to fade to, okay? Then what we're going to do is we can make another square or we could just copy and paste this one. So we're just gonna duplicate. We could also duplicate it using this button here and we're gonna bring it over to this area. Now here's where the magic begins. We could click on our color here and instead of the colors that are down here, we can say plus right here and here is where we find gradient. So now we have our purple gradient and then this color right here, we could just fade it all the way down to zero, zero, trans, uh, zero opacity, okay? So now we have our opacity and as you can see, it's working very well. Now there is this line right here and just to kind of avoid the line, this could vary depending on your computer, but if I have, if you have a little line, when you click away and you see a line, just uh, either put your mouse, you know, move it maybe one uh, pixel to the left and or a few pixels until the line goes away. And there we go. We have our fade. And of course we could add our text. And we have our uh, display that we were looking for, okay? Let's do this one more time. Let's say we want it to be a little, you know, we wanted it to fade more centralized. We can do the same thing. We're gonna add our element, we're gonna add our square. We're gonna resize it. Now we're gonna pick a color. Let's pick this uh, dark gray right here. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this, but it right next to it like that. We're gonna change it to a fade. So we're gonna add a gradient. It already picks the previous, which is a nice addition. And then we're going to bring that down to zero opacity. And again, we're gonna put this to the left like that. And now we have our fade, but let's say we want our fade to be a little closer here. So we're gonna bring our fade to here. We can move this all the way out. And now we have our fade uh, more out here. Now let's say we want it to be more gradual. We can bring it here. We can bring this all the way out like this. And now we have a more gradual fade. Now let's say we want it to be a wider gradient. We can do that by just adding more either color or more fade. So let's go ahead and add more color. So in order to do that, we have to put this on this side by clicking and dragging, and then we can just add a couple of colors if you'd like, or let's remove one of these. And then we're gonna put our 
fade that way. And now we have a wider fade that we can use. Okay? So now we have a much, much more gradual fade. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we have a more gradual fade. We can also ma manipulate it by, in this case, I want to take away maybe this color right here. And we want our fade to be a lot more gradual, maybe like this. We can bring this out as much as possible, as much as we'd like. Make sure we push it over until we have no more line. And there we have it, a nice gradual fade out. We can even make this more kind of halfway, bring this over. And now we have just a subtle picture in this, in this display. Now, what's also great is that we could fade, um, we could put one in the center and fade two pictures into each other like this. And that's the same procedure, except we're doing it in the middle. So we're gonna add our box here, bring it all the way down. Now we, we can't pick, you know, we could pick two colors, but I don't wanna pick two colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick one color here. Let's pick the, uh, let's just pick a black. And then I'm gonna duplicate it twice. I'm gonna take it, duplicate it and duplicate it again. Put one on one side and one on the other. Okay, so we're going to put a gradient here that fades down. And then we're gonna put one over here, gradient, and that, we move this on this side and we're gonna fade this one down. And now let's move this over, of course, until there's no line, move this one until there's no line. And now we can add, you know, any type of text that we'd like, okay? So that was my tip on how to add fade to color on your displays. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Hello, everyone. I wanted to take a moment to extend my sincerest gratitude to each and every one of you for your incredible support on my YouTube channel. Your presence, engagement, and feedback mean the world to me, and I am truly appreciative of the community we've built together. I wanted to take a moment to address my recent absence from the channel. As many of you might have noticed, I decided to take some time off during the summer to unwind, recharge, and invest in some much needed self-care. This decision wasn't taken lightly, but it was essential for me to come back with renewed energy and fresh ideas to share with all of you. During this time away, I reflected on the incredible journey we've had so far, delving into technology, exploring the joys of gardening, and diving into various other fascinating subjects. Your enthusiasm for my content has been a thriving force, and I am thrilled to announce that I am eagerly looking forward to creating more engaging and informative videos in the coming months. Expect to see a continuation of our technology tips, gardening adventures, and a whole array of exciting topics that I can't wait to explore with you. Your support has been the catalyst that keeps my creativity flowing and I am truly excited about the incredible content we can create together. If you've enjoyed the content I've shared thus far, I kindly ask for your continued support by considering subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribing will ensure that you never miss an update and will allow you and me to continue growing and exploring new horizons together. Once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being part of this journey. Your engagement, comments, and the sense of community we've built means more to me than words can express. I'm looking forward to an amazing future of learning, sharing, and growing together. Have a wonderful day.